to the thing if you are not subscribed please subscribe and the subscription well greetings greetings and welcome back to the channel it's for the first time you're coming across my channel please remember to subscribe talk today about the uk riots i did promise we're going to come back and talk about it another time but in this um uh, video here i won't be saying too much i, I found a, a video of a brother breaking the whole thing down so i'd like us to watch him together listen to to him together and then we come back and, and have a short discussion about um what do you think uh, as well as i try and put the i'll try and put the the link to the full video in the description box if i forget to do so someone in the comment box should remind me let's let's have a listen i'm saying you need to direct your anger at the people who are trying to direct your anger at anyone but themselves because they're the ones you should be mad at you should direct your anger at all these people who are lying to you about disappointment uh grief over these riots and these attacks frankly i don't know why I mean, I don't know how you could have ever uh, convinced yourself uh, that you're living in a healthy, civilized society to where any of this should shock you. Look, these English people uh, have felt like their Englishness was being deteriorated. You know, their English culture, their English heritage, their English Anglo so-called civilization, they felt it was being marginalized, minimized, and undermined by the presence of non-whites and primarily of uh, Muslims, the presence of Muslims. So what you're seeing uh, with these riots is just them reasserting their culture, their heritage, their so-called civilization at its most raw, its most honest, uh, the most primal expression, which is hateful, primitive, and violent. That's their culture. That's their culture, and they're telling you loud and clear. Why, these are festivals for them. You call it riots, but for them, these are festivals of Anglo-British culture and tradition. That's who they are. They're not tolerant people. They're not multiculturalists, they're monoculturalists, and they always have been. I mean, you can tie a monkey's tail to a stick to make it go straight, uh, but the moment that stick comes loose, uh, the tail will curl up again. You can't artificially change a society, no. You can't artificially change the nature of a society. And you should already know. You should already know the nature of that society. Since it was almost exclusively because of the uh, violent, tyrannical, supremacist nature of that society, uh, that the countries that your parents came from, your grandparents came from, and so on, uh, that's why their countries became so unlivable that they had to immigrate to that miserable island to begin with. I mean, how did you think that uh, people who were brutal colonizers and enslavers in your country were somehow completely different when they got home? I mean, don't you know that uh, the highest domestic violence statistics are in the homes of police officers? No. No one is savage on the job but gentle at home, they were in your countries, robbing your countries, pillaging your countries, destroying your countries, because they thought you deserved it. And they look at you the same way now. They look at you uh, on the streets of London, on the streets of uh, Brighton, on the streets of Manchester, Bristol, Liverpool, and Cardiff. They look at you the same way uh, that they looked at you when you were on indigo plantations and when they were starving you to death in Bengal. They look at you the same way uh, that they looked at you when you were on tobacco and sugar and cotton plantations in the Caribbean. The same way that they looked at you when they were uh, stealing your lands in Kenya, uh, stealing your lands in Zimbabwe and everywhere else, and forcing you into mines, uh, and forcing you onto plantations to deliver all of your natural wealth into their hands. I'm telling you, they look at you the same way now. When you're on their streets, uh, they look at you the same way as they looked at you when you were in your countries of origin. They hunted you over there, and they'll hunt you over here. In fact, they'll hunt you even more savagely uh, when they're on their home turf. I mean, do you think that a wolf uh, is more dangerous when he's outside uh, and less dangerous when you're right there in his den? Well, everybody knows that a wolf is even more violent uh, when he thinks he's uh, protecting his den than when he's out hunting. So I don't see why you're surprised. I don't see why you're shocked. I mean, it would be different if your history with them was different. You know, if they had come into your countries, if they had come into your lands as traders and as merchants and just did business with you in a respectable, civilized way, but that's not what they did, is it? So, I mean, if you're the victim of a brutal home invasion where you get assaulted and robbed in your own house, what makes you think 
that the criminal who did that to you is going to welcome you as a guest when you show up at his door. So yes, they felt that their culture was getting pushed aside. And now they're holding parades all across the UK to celebrate who they are and to remind you who they are and to remind everyone else who they are. And listen, I'm well aware uh, that this is orchestrated, that it is calculated. I'm well aware uh, that what's happening in the UK right now is all part of the destabilization project that has been in progress for at least as long as the Ukraine war has been in progress. I'm the first person to point that out. I'm the first person to talk about that. I know that's what's happening because I said it would happen. And it's going to get worse. I know that Tommy Robinson is on the payroll. I know he's an agent of disruption, but he's not the only one. I know that's why they uh, specifically choose to hold their Anglo pride parades uh, in uh, heavily immigrant and minority areas, precisely to inflame. And precisely so that English people can see the police crack down on white nationalists. That's just to promote the white nationalist narrative. You know, if immigrant and so-called minority offenders get lighter sentences than whites, the whole point of that is just to advance that narrative, to stoke resentment and racial hatred. Everyone knows that uh, Tommy Robinson is paid by higher-ups. Well, those higher-ups are exactly that. This racial and ethnic strife uh, is sought by the elites of the society. Because like I said, time and time again, Europe, including the UK, uh, is slated to be nothing but a conflict zone. But the point is, uh, they're able to do this because that racism, that white supremacy, that brutal, violent heritage and culture is their heritage and culture. And they never rehabilitated themselves from it. They never civilized from it. They have been barbarians for millennia. And that's what they are today. To one extent or another, all they did was uh, medicate those hateful, violent tendencies. They sedated it. They treated the symptoms, just like the pharmaceutical industry does. Just like they do with illness. You know, they never cure you. They just medicate the symptoms so that it'll be dormant, without ever actually treating the underlying condition. Well, that's the same way that they've dealt with their perverse hatred and their racism and their penchant for violence. They just put a Band-Aid on a tumor. They plaster over a cyst uh, with foundation makeup and blush so that you can't see it. Or anyway, so that uh, you can't tell whether what you are seeing is what you think you're seeing. You know how they talk about microaggressions and implicit bias and all that. Well, that's what I'm talking about. It's like radiation that escapes through a landfill of toxic waste because you never actually got rid of the waste. You just tried to bury it. But no matter how deep you bury it, it's still there. And it's going to come out one way or another. Look, I'm a Westerner. My ancestors were Irish and German. But I don't feel any conflict uh, in acknowledging the reality that the West has always been and still is barbaric. I tell the truth. I mean, the, the, the irony, of course, uh, is that these riots, this is all part of a destabilization campaign by white Westerners against white Western countries. And these people still want to believe uh, in some kind of white Western fraternity. Your forefathers were Anglo serfs and peasants used and abused by Anglo aristocrats. And that's basically the same situation now. You are defending a so-called culture, a so-called civilization uh, that treated your ancestors like animals, treated your women like property, and your children uh, as nothing but expendable drones for workhouses and mines. You enslaved each other before you ever started enslaving anyone else. It's a miserable, disgraceful, inhuman heritage. I mean, I'm American. And there only are Americans because white Europeans were so vicious and so tyrannical to each other that whoever could escape ran away. My people went to America because you were starving them in the potato famine. White on white oppression. That's your whole history before you became multicultural oppressors. That's what I mean. What you did elsewhere, you were already doing at home. What you did to other people, you were first doing to each other. You know, when the, when the, when the colonizers uh, first went to Ghana, they were flabbergasted to discover that every house, every home, had a toilet, a toilet that was cleaned every day. Meanwhile, you still had your people defecating in public, in collective cesspits that never got cleaned. Yes, you never cleaned them. You just buried it and dug a new one. See how you do? That's a habit with you. Just bury it and then start somewhere else. That's basically the origin of America, if you think about it. You just moved away from the cesspit of Europe to start a new cesspit on the other side of the Atlantic. I'm telling you because you need to know. I'm not telling you 
to, to, to denigrate you. I mean, how are you going to be uplifted if you don't know how low you are now and how low you've always been? Westerners don't know the difference between standing on the shore and drowning because, wallahi, you are drowning and you're being drowned, actually. Your own so-called culture, your own so-called civilization is drowning you. And you're out here in the streets of the UK defending the culture that's drowning you and that drown your forefathers. Well, you don't know how much in common you actually have with the immigrants uh, that flee to your country from their countries because your country ruined their countries. Because the same so-called civilization that ruined their countries has been ruining you for hundreds of years. You need to wash the makeup off of that cyst, rip the band-aid off of that tumor and start actually trying to heal yourselves. And you need to charge the doctor who never did anything but cover up your sickness, cover up your deformity, uh, cover up your mutation instead of treating it. Because he never cared about your health in the first place. And you need to charge that doctor, which is your so-called civilization, you need to charge that doctor with malpractice. Charge your civilization, so-called, with malpractice. I'm saying you need to direct your anger at the people who are trying to direct your anger at anyone but themselves. Because they're the ones you should be mad at. You should direct your anger at all these people who are lying to you about your so-called civilization. Telling you to be proud and defensive about a culture uh, that has done nothing but keep you perverted, hateful, violent, and criminal for centuries. Because you have a right to be worthwhile human beings. And your so-called civilization has let you down. It's let you down badly. It hasn't just let you down developmentally, morally, spiritually, ethically, and so on. It's even let you down in the most practical of terms. You know, the very thing that you like to think that you excel in. You like to think that you're the most practical and efficient people on the earth. But look at your system. Your so-called civilization built a system, uh, built a society, that's literally making you go extinct. Your materialism, your atheism, your consumerism, your urbanization, your worship of money has created a society that cannot even perpetuate itself anymore. How practical is that? I'm telling you, you're out of your minds. Nothing about the way that you approach the world, nothing about the way you approach life makes any sense. It's killing you. And you're so insane that you're singing God Save the King instead of saving yourselves. Yeah. Well, after listening to this brother break it down, I don't think there is much to add to what he said. Because you and I, as um, people from other places and who, those that fall victim to these um, behaviors in the past, will be able to re relate. Also, I think those that is acting in such a way by rioting and, and behaving like, a, like this is a festival, like it's a lynching party, should also listen to what the brother is saying and take a look in the mirror. You know, talk to the man in the mirror, so to speak. And change the way... Try and change the way you go about certain things. Because your ancestors, as I said, have done a lot of things. And I don't think you should start the process over. But saying that history have a way to repeat itself. So please, it would be sad. Do not go down that road because unlike our ancestors some people will not allow it anyway thank you for watching and have a great day check out this other UK you know they take care of the kids my grandma grandpa that works tirelessly for no pay oh, I think people easily forgot They've completely forgotten about the slave trade. 400 plus years. Yeah? And that is a long time someone has been suppressed. Oppressed. You cannot progress anywhere. You know? And you have had a head start for such a long time. You know? Wealth has been passed down to you for a generation. What? Most black British men, we got nothing. We got no wealth to inherit. 
Not at all, zero. We are starting from the bottom, you know? Really. To the team, if you are not subscribed, please subscribe. And the subscription.